So here we have yet another Dell 2007 FPB monitor, which tries to start but is not able to complete its boot process. If you want to see how to take the monitor apart, please see episode 1 of this series. As we have seen in episode 2, when a monitor doesn't want to start up, it may have something to do with the resistors under the white blob on the PCB. In the previous episode we removed the white blob as well as possible, but in this video I'm going to show you how to repair the monitor without removing the blob and thereby preventing possible harm to the components while doing so. When we put the excavated resistors of the previous fix under the microscope, we can see that the 2.7 kilo ohm resistor is connected to a pin on the IC next to it, and when we measure around the board, we find that the other side of the resistor is connected to a pin of a transistor slightly lower on the board. So if we want to measure the resistor, we can do so by measuring the resistance between the pin on the chip and the pin of the transistor instead of the resistor itself. What we can do now, without removing the white stuff, is solder a resistor between the pin on the IC and the pin of the resistor and have the monitor fixed a lot quicker than the previous one. After soldering in the resistor and reassembling the monitor, which is elaborately shown in the first video of this series, we find the monitor working again, which is well nice. Now for the second monitor in this video, I found that the fuse on the board was blown because of a short somewhere. It turns out that this board gets 19 volts as input and creates a few rails of various voltages, which can be measured on the port connecting these two boards. Every MOSFET you find on the board is part of a separate power supply, but since the ground is shared between all the power supplies, it is quite tricky to find a shorted component. I tried desoldering many components to get rid of the short, but it was very persistent. Many videos on YouTube use a method of injecting some voltage and inspect the board with a thermal camera. I haven't got a thermal camera, so that was not an option for me. After desoldering even more components, even the USB chip had to go, I couldn't find a short anymore and decided to try and start the monitor. And then this happened. So, looks like it was the MOSFET of the 5 volt rail after all that got a bit hot and sent 19 volts over to the other board and spectacularly fried two ICs. So I took one for the team here. Hopefully it will help you fixing your own monitor. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I hope you will join me again in the next video. Bye then!